Hello, I'm Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here with a special gift for you, and that is a free Patreon video. This Patreon video is one of hundreds and hundreds that I have on my Patreon channel, A Better Life with Fly Lady Cat at patreon.com. And on this video, you will see that we're talking more about how we think and implement the Fly Lady system into your life rather than the specifics about the Fly Lady system. Um, so I call it a mentor, a mini mentoring session, and it is $5 a month if you decide that you want to enroll at Patreon and become one of my patrons. $5 a month gives you five videos a week, week after week, month after month. If that's something that you love, please come over and enjoy these and be part of our special group. There are no advertisements on Patreon, so you'll be able to enjoy it end to end without interruption. If you feel that you'd like to have a little bit more mentoring, maybe some personal accountability or some help, you can get one personal mentoring session a month with me for $25. That is my tier two. That's going to give you the 25 minute mentoring session and the videos all inclusive for $25 a month. If you need more help, you can get two mentoring sessions a month plus the videos for $50 a month. And if you want to go all the way and really help yourself establish some great habits and get into the flow of the Fly Lady system, then I recommend that you go for four mentorings a month, which is $100 a month, including the free videos. These are all great systems for you. If you can't join Patreon, that's fine. Do your best on the Fly Lady system here on this channel. I'm sure you can, but if you do need some help, please come over and see how you like it. That's it for today. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful. Enjoy the video. Hello patrons. Today we're talking about being overwhelmed and distracted by your planner. This was a request from Belinda and I think it's a good legitimate request. Lots of people are feeling that way. Let's talk about it. So this is my week. I haven't filled it out yet so you can see. Now I've got some things down the side and these are the videos that I'm going to be making you. But this is my week. So this is what's what's making you freak out. So let's talk about it. The first thing I want you to do is just remember that this is baby steps. So you're doing one thing at a time, not everything at a time. I know that's when I get overwhelmed, when I think I have to do everything at a one time. I just got a brand new uh, MacBook Pro and I got overwhelmed by it because there were so many things I wanted to do and I'm like you, when I try to read it, I don't even have time to read it. I feel so distracted. I can't even read how to do this stuff and my mind goes crazy and I start getting anxiety and so I had to stop myself and say, wait, just do one thing a day. Just do one thing a day on your book Pro, MacBook Pro until you learn how to use it. Because it wasn't acting right, you know, blah, 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 I was probably tired. And that's why you think your planner's not working. It's not working for me. I can't make it work. Here's what I want you to do. Just like I tell you to start in the beginning with your routines, I want you to put your routines down in your book. So let's go ahead and do that. So the routines, I would run my routines, I would put them right up in here if you know what they are, if you know what they are. So let's do that. Let's put, because I know what they are. So we have morning routine. I'm going to put MR. Laundry, that's L. Paper routine, that's PR. After dinner routine, that's ADR. And before bed routine. For me, these initials mean these are my routines. See that? So you're going to do the same thing. If you don't know what these are, or you need to write out morning, laundry, paper, after dinner, before bed, that's fine. But if you don't know what they are, my suggestion would be to have a, check a checklist somewhere in your book. And for me, at the end of every month, there's an empty page that looks like this. Or you could find one in the back of your book. I wouldn't want you to have to write it over and over again. But maybe in one of the first parts of your page, in the first part of your book you could do it or um, under the section that we have here called notes I could put it in here and my notes are all filled I can't do it but um, if it were me I would probably go back to the first month and look behind the back page of the first the like mine has a September a September separator that's my very first month and right here is a blank page so I would probably put my routines there so let's go ahead and do that 
So morning routine for me, MR, is get up, make bed. I'm not going to write all this out, but I'm going to say it for you so you can write it out. You can stop this video and write it out. But get up, make your bed, brush your teeth, wash your face, put on your moisturizer, wipe out the sink, swish the toilet. Um, if you wear makeup, put on makeup. You can move these around wherever you want. Um, fix your hair, get dressed. Your clothes are already laying out. Go in the kitchen, empty the dishwasher or the dish rack, and make some breakfast or coffee or tea. That is your morning routine. The next to that, so the next column, put laundry. Now, you might want a specific plan for your laundry. Like when I'm at my mother's house, because there are three of us taking care of our parents, we need to know every Monday we do the, the sheets. So on mine, it would be Monday, sheets. Tuesday, towels. Wednesday, whites. Thursday, mediums. Friday, darks. And Saturday, only if we need to, towels one more time. So I would have a list like that for my laundry. Now your list might not look like that. Yours might just say laundry every day. Or your yours might say... Um, that you're doing your sheets on Saturday and that on Monday you're doing towels and Tuesday your lights and Thursdays your darks and on Fridays that's when little Jimmy does his clothes. You've delegated that day. So you just have to use your head and figure out your laundry routine. Then under the laundry routine, the next thing on our routines is our um, paper routine. Paper. So that just happens while laundry is happening. So you could put an asterisk by laundry and an asterisk by paper and put two minutes getting rid of trash in one inch of paper. Two minutes getting rid of trash in one inch of paper. So here we go. Two minutes, that's a sign for minutes, getting rid of trash for one inch of paper and, and I have an asterisk by laundry and here it is down here and that means you're going to do your paper when your laundry is running. Then the fourth thing that we're doing, so we've done our morning routine, our laundry, our paper, after dinner routine. And what is that? That's wiping the table, that's uh, sweeping the floor or wiping the floor depending on what you've spilled and not full sweeping not full mopping just wiping just getting up what you just spilled if you spilled anything um, it's wiping the counter so it's a lot of wiping going on it's washing the pots and pans if they don't fit in the dishwasher it's making sure all the dishes are in the dishwasher and it's wiping off the top of the stove Okay, so we've got a lot of wiping. So you'd have your ADD or after dinner routine, wiping, 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 and put what it actually is. I'm trying to hurry through this because I've already been on here for almost seven minutes and we're not even through our routines. The last thing would be our um, before bed routine. Before bed routine is first being aware of what time you need to go to bed. So I need to be in bed by 10 p.m. And when I get up, up here, I'm going to write morning routine 6 a.m. for get up. Okay, that gives me eight hours of sleep. All right, so before bed routine, you're going to make sure your kitchen looks good, put out a fresh towel, a fresh washcloth, wipe out your sink with the old towel, go put it in the laundry. You're going to make sure your house is closed up, everybody's in bed, the last dishes are in the dishwasher or washed. Um, you're going to look at your at your planner to see what you have planned for tomorrow. If there's anything special, then you may need to let, lay out different clothes. Um, I lay out everything, including my jewelry, my shoes, everything. Okay. Uh, take off your makeup, moisturize your skin, maybe brush your hair, whatever you need to do. Maybe you take your bath or shower at night. I do. I think it makes it easier in the morning and takes less time, but it's up to you. Um, and make sure you get to bed at 10 p.m. Now you might have a little thing or two that you're going to add, but not much. This is a 30 minute routine. It's just like the morning routine is a 30 minute, it could be a 45 minute routine if you have to take a shower in the morning. 
All right, so laundry doesn't take time. After dinner doesn't take time. After dinner includes delegation. Okay, write that in there. You know how to delegate. All right, now the next thing we're going to talk about is our zones. So where are we going to put our zones in here? Let's go back and look. April. Now we take a breath if you're freaking out. Take a breath. Blow it out. We're just doing one thing at a time. What I want you to do for zones is what I recommend, and that is to put it right across the top of the page. So for me, on Mondays is the weekly home blessing hour. Tuesdays is free. See where I'm writing it? Right across the top. Okay. Wednesday is planning and desk day. That's a quiet day. I just messed up. But I have an erasable pen. Planning and desk day. That's a quiet day. Thursday is errands. Friday is um, car and purse. That's a real quick and easy one. And it's date night. Saturday is family fun day. And Sunday is renew your spirit. So this is what it looks like all filled out. This is a little separator. Take that out. So you've got just little, just little abbreviations, not fancy writing, just up there. So you know that's what's happening that day. All right, the last thing is the zone. The zone we're in this week is zone four. If you don't remember what zone four is, then write master bedroom slash bath slash closet. So zone four equals master bedroom closet and bath. So here's where I put it and it's going to be, because it's for the whole week, it runs right across the page here. And you know every day when you need to know your zone, it's right here. You need to know what we're doing today, it's right here. You need to know what your routines are, they're right here. You need to know what's happening in your routine. You put it on that note page right in front of September in this particular thing. So you can remember everything. That's the basics of the Fly Lady system. Now, you might also have some other things in here. I do. I have to make Patreon videos this morning. I have to go to my parents. My, I call them the SPs, the sweet peas, P for parents. I have to go to my parents and make their dinner and all that stuff. Um, I had to go live this morning. I had to go to, I'm just doing this in reverse of what really happens. You do it in advance. Weight Watchers, live, Patreon, SPs, and then another live. So this is what my calendar would look like for today. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fill it out for the rest of the week. So I know I have to make actually two Patreons today, two Patreons tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to be um, doing calls from 7.30 in the morning until 7.30 at night, and I will eventually run all the names and appointments in my book. I'm going to go live tomorrow morning. I'm going to go live tomorrow evening. And again, I have to go to my parents' house, which is in another city, but I have to go there because on this weekend, I'm going out of town. Out of town for three days to see my son. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's a little messy right now, but I've got my Patreons, my Weight Watcher meeting, all the things I did today. Here's tomorrow live, two Patreons, my parents and live. This will be all filled in with appointments. This day will also be all filled in with appointments. I haven't done it yet. And then I'm gonna be out of town. So I'm going to make one more Patreon right here because I get off the calls at 3.30 on Thursday. So one more Patreon, and that will give me all five for the week. So that's how I do my work. I hope this was helpful. Now, when you're nervous and you get your book out, now you've just planned it in steps. If you have doctor's appointments, children's activities, you put them in there. I put mine like this because it's three, three, three blocks. I consider this the morning, this the afternoon, and this the evening. Yours may have times, it may not be separated like this, there's different ways, but you put it in so it works for you. And then all you're doing at is looking at today, because you filled it out already. Now normally, this would be filled out on Wednesday on planning and desk day, 
and on Sunday I would do it again just to make sure that everything's good. And the great thing about the Frixion pen is I'll be able to erase this and fill in all the times when I get ready for this day. So I like that. So, But I'm not worried about that day right now because I've already planned it, I, or I will have. So today, this is all I have to worry about. Well, guess what? I can have a ta-da list. This is done. This is done. I still have to do these. Well, I'm actually doing one right now. Um, these aren't done yet. Did my morning routine. I don't have any laundry today. I actually don't want to mark on these because this is for the week. But anyway, I did my morning routine, my laundry. I don't have any paper. I'll do my after dinner and my before bed. That's it. All right? And it's also Weekly Home Blessing Day. I haven't done that yet. I'm probably going to move it. I'm probably going to move it. I'm probably going to make this car and purse day. This is how easy you can change things. Car and purse day. Because it was my first Weight Watchers meeting. I didn't know where it was. And blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to make this on Friday my weekly home blessing day and date night. Actually, no, I won't. I'm going to skip weekly home blessing. Because why? Because I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be out of town. So I'm going to skip my weekly home blessing and date night. Just skip it. And guess what? It's not the end of the world. So family fun day will happen the whole time we're gone. So it's going to be family fun, family fun, renew our spirit and family fun. Because I'm going to see my son. He's going to participate in a competition for CrossFit or whatever he does. And um, he's doing great. So we're really happy. And wish him a late happy birthday. So I hope this helped you. This is a little longer than normal. But I really wanted you to see how easy it is and that you don't have to freeze up. You just look at your one day and mark each thing off. If you have to change something, you change something. Be really thoughtful when you're making your plan. Um, take that time to do it on Wednesday, which is your quiet day. And also take time again Sunday afternoon to look again and see what you might have th not thought about. That's it for today, patrons. I hope this was a good video for you. Have a wonderful day. And always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.